hey guys what's up everyone welcome or welcome back again to another video tutorial lesson from the apex predator billiards training club my name is apex lenny your aspiring professional pool player and pool instructor and in the, today's particular tutorial video we're going to be looking at a attempted break and run on this eight ball rack which is one of many videos that came out of one of my most recent practice sessions where i'm currently at the level right now in my game where i'm trying to improve and increase the amount of break and runs that i do consistently i find myself over the past couple of weeks over the past month doing at least three break and runs and of course i took a break from the game for about a week and a half i have been practicing a lot but returning back to the table after a few days about eight nine days maybe about a week and a half or so i came back to the table and it felt really really good and for the last 25 games that i've played i believe that at least 10 or 11 of them are actually break and run so that's not a very very bad percentage coming back after a break sometimes as a player you really really need to take a break all right from the game so that everything can be refreshed all right so here we go guys i'm going to be starting off with the break and i'm going to be walking you through the thought process of my decisions that i've made we're going to be doing some justification and we are going to be particularly learning objectively from the errors that we've made so that we can improve going forward so if this is the first time you're on the channel do not forget to smash the subscribe button below of course leave a like and leave some comments um based on what you have learned and what you can add to improve my game so here we go traditionally i'm using the side rail break here very effective break because i find that on this particular table that i know for sure that a lot of the times i get very good spread on the object balls or on the rack and a lot of the times if there's any cluster that is left near the rack area that cue ball tends to go into the side rail and back into that zone where it kind of disturbs the cluster and kind of opens up the rack a little bit just in case the second ball did not get a pure hit right that's what i find as uh based on my analysis from this particular team that i play very often on all right now as an eight ball pool player guys eight ball is all about patterns it's all about connecting the dots choosing the group of balls that is best but of course when you're choosing your opening shot you have to choose your opening shot based on the group of balls that lay out the best you're not always going to get a cosmo rack but sometimes you may get a rack where you have to solve a few problems find yourself into a few positional zones for example here i'm taking a shot here on the solids but i already know that that seven ball that you're seeing right there is my problem area and i've already assessed that so i know i'm going to be working on trying to get that seven ball into a pocket as early as possible so pocketing that one there in between the 14 and 8 coming back out to near the middle of the bottom half of the table i've played myself into a zone i actually wanted to get onto the seven right away but i know ideally here that if i get onto the six i have a chance to perhaps renegotiate and get back onto the seven but the angle that i have here based on my decision it's just giving me that forward roll so i'm just gonna go two rails under or behind the four and that was a really really nice control shot there all right i played into a zone i actually was trying to play for the seven and i knew that if i didn't get the seven i would have actually landed on the four which i did but i also landed on, a, on an extra ball here which is the two ball and i've landed nicely because now i have an angle on the four which you see i'm looking at here but i would have wanted not so much angle as i do have so i think i'm just gonna change my decision i'm just gonna go around and have a look maybe just putting the two ball here would have been more ideal getting that cue ball a little bit closer and lessening the angle on the four it's a nice stop shot there and now i'm in pinpoint position now so all i have to do now is just have a look at if the seven ball goes into the side very good and there is that all i need now is just pretty much a stun shot or a draw a stun or a stop if i have an angle i may need to stun into the rail and back out if i don't i could just take a simple stop shot here but i really need the angle that's going to take me towards the five ball that would be more ideal let's have a look here nice steady stroke but i did have a bit of angle 
and I actually misplayed myself to position here. You can see the facial expression is not ideally what I wanted, but when the rock lays tough, guys, is when you find yourself as a pool player needing to use up that knowledge, use up that experience. Now, a lot of the pool players, if you don't get a shot that you need, you just have to reassess the rock and find out how best can you get back in line as soon as possible. So, I'm not comfortable with what I have gotten, but it's better than being snookered. And so, a natural roll, if I cut this seven ball into the side, the cue ball should take a couple of rails and back around to near that vicinity just short of the cue ball's position now and just holding that position there a nice bump onto the 11 a rather fortuitous bump onto that 11 ball because that was not intended all right but i know that i wanted to get into that zone now i have a shot here and i'm having a look that's where i need to be i need to get into that line all right now i have a little bit of an angle here all right well i'm not sure if i have enough see i'm checking now i'm getting down it seems as if i'm a bit straight so i'm looking at how much cheating angle i have because if i can just stun this cue ball back up near to the middle of the table then i would have to literally take what the table gives me here on the five because i don't have enough angle to get onto the right side i think the eight ball is what's determining what i do here so i'm just going to be cheating the pocket a little bit and stunning okay so that was not very well executed i think i did a bit too much onto that three ball there i missed that shot completely that was a really really bad miss all right but nevertheless uh, I have always encouraged my viewers here that whenever it is that you are actually practicing and you're assessing your game and developing different aspects of your game, not because you make a mistake, it's going to be the end. You've got to seize the opportunity and pretend as if you're the ghost or you're the other opponent and see how best you can run the rack out. So of course, that's what I decided to do. I decided that I've already made a mistake, but there must be something else that I can learn. What if I had gotten this opportunity as the opponent? Could I have um, run the rack? Well, it, it's yet to be seen and I am already on my way here pocketing the first two balls comfortably um, keeping a minimal movement on, onto that cue ball here just pocketing this 10 straight up into the uh, bottom left pocket here nicely done staying under the 5 I have a nice angle here onto that 15 now I have a couple of options if I don't have if I'm if well it doesn't seem as if I'm actually straight so I'm just gonna have to just stun onto under that 13 there nicely done and just giving myself a natural angle here to get back out near to that section here that I'm aiming at if I can get to that area there then that would be ideal because the natural cue ball now just takes me down under the 14 so just going forward into the rail and back out nicely controlled all right now here is where a little bit of drama occurred in the rack and also something spectacular occurred in the rack because now as you would have seen i posted a youtube shorts on this particular video here and here you can see that i use a bit too much spin and i didn't use enough speed i think i use a combination of spin and speed and so that kind of really got me into a sass right now because I'm now fully blown snookered on that 14 ball. And so, of course, a lot of the times, guys, when adversities like these take you or meets you in an eight ball rack, you've got to have the tools in your bag. So I'm going to be executing a spectacular uh, jump shot here, a short range jump shot. And it was so well executed that the 14 ball didn't even touch the rail on its way into the pocket all right and this is not an easy shot guys it's really really tough but let's have a look at its execution i'm gonna be leaving a slow-mo right after this for you guys to see how well the shot was executed all right very steady 
hop bang into the corner pocket nice recovery shot there by apex lenio all right and there's always good things that can come from a bad rock and of course you can have a very very good rock well at least a rock that is considered to be very very good but you're very very bad uh, moments in the rock so there's always something to learn all right and of course i didn't land nicely onto the eight this is actually a standard bank but i think i over calculated i think that the adrenaline was pumping through my veins after such a great shot and so you can see that it took me a couple of seconds here to really find the line but it was really a standard bank which i missed but there's of course always something to learn from this all right so i did came a bit short as you can see here i really wanted to make that shot because that would have been a spectacular um clearance on the table but there's always something to learn all right so of course guys thank you so much for watching i hope that you learned something from this rock and if you have any suggestions or positive comments leave them down below and let me know what you think what i can add to my game to improve my game and what are some of the things that you're learning from me i'd love to hear from some of you guys all right so do not forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you next time in another tutorial video another rock analysis what went wrong what went right do take care until next time this is apex Lenny, your aspiring professional pool player and pool instructor until next time i'll see you in another video bye bye